one time, you know, on our neighborhood block, block watch, a thing went around saying black boys seen on bicycles in backyards. And those were my children. Right. As if those that were is my children. in itself something awful. You know, black boys knocking on doors, call the police if they come. Right. Those were my children canvassing for the mayoral election in our town at the time. Um, so, you know, the idea that anyone can look at, you know, we, we look at our children with loving eyes, you know, we think they're the most beautiful creatures in the world and see them, read them as suspicious, make them dangerous, read a hoodie, every kid wears a hoodie uh, as something that is a signal uh, of, of danger. Who's the predator here? And who do you, but what do you tell, what did what you tell did, your boys? So what did I tell them? Um, you know, I would manage their safety. So sometimes I didn't tell them. I just kept them out of certain situations. Uh, but I would tell them to, to be alert. I would tell them to uh, keep their eyes up. I would tell them immediately who to call if they were stopped by the police. Uh, I told them how to deal with police encounters. Uh, I told them to show their hands. Uh, I told them that, you know, just having that list of who could help them and getting that out very quickly. And you tell them all of these things, but you still don't know uh, if it will keep them safe at the end of the day. The thing that's also profound is, is the ways in which my sons would tell me that they developed their own methods that I didn't even know about. You know, they would tell me about how in the elevator of our building, you know, purses were clutched, People would look at them in an unfriendly way. One of my sons said, I would jangle my keys so they knew I lived there. I didn't tell him to do that.